Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Hindsight, where we see bad situations that can be avoided by good reasoning. But sometimes a situation is unavoidable and self-defense is needed to get you to safety. Yeah, folks, Hindsight Podcast. I'm here with Sensei Buddha, Mr. Suave, and uh, our special guest from a previous podcast episode, King Tut. How you, how you fellas doing? It was good. It was good. All right, that's great. Um, today, the episode is titled Sex Slave to the System. Now, in the wake of the hashtag Me Too mo- movement, we see in the media there's a lot of uh, a lot of things from the female perspective, and we wanted to do a little different from uh, uh, the male perspective, being the uh, having uh, doing the story on a male victim. This story comes to us from CBS Chicago, articles by Rob Johnson and Erica Sargent of the CBS Chicago Network, Thursday, November 2nd, 2017. In Elgin, Illinois, Ben Hurt, age 24, has accused his psychiatrist, Christy Linhart, 53 years of age, of keeping him as her personal sex slave for three years. In 2014, Hurt had pled, guilt, pled not guilty in battery charges against a police officer due to insanity. Uh, so, subsequently, Hurt ends, ended up in Elegant Mental Health Center. Now, while under the care of Lynn Hart, you know, he was taken advantage of sexually, uh, seems in every conceivable way. It only took about four months for her to allegedly sexually take advantage of him physically and subsequently Lynn Hart found reasons to prolong Hurt's stay which lasted from you know six to twelve months. Hurt's attorney Joe Sakala also claims that there are inappropriate emails, texts, and photos that were sent to his client by Lynn Hart. You have the Hurt's mother, DeAntonette Lee, saying that they assumed they no, that they assured her that they were gonna help her with her child what was going on with him was wrong so what's even more outrageous about this story is that there were two other psychiatrists at the facility and the the facility's director that knew about the alleged abuse and didn't report anything at all the facility has terminated Linhart's employment but no criminal charges have been filed against her so, right away, uh, I want to hear what Mr. Suave has to say. Please. The physicist, thanks for the introduction. Old King Tut, we got four brothers on the show today, four strong-minded brothers, and we're just going to give you what we got. Uh, Sensei Buddha, how are you? Good to hear, good to hear. Now, I'm going to start off right off the bat, say, so, you know, these views here, our views and our views alone. So if you're getting your feelings, you're emotional, get your ass kicked. You want to tell mama you don't like what you're hearing? You don't give a damn. Get out your feelings. We're going to keep doing what we do. And on that note, you know, this is, you know, I'm reading the article here. Be physicist and broke it down to you. I just want to see one thing right here. It said, you know, my dude, black brother, incarcerated. He in a mental health center, right? Elgin Mental Health Center. Okay. First statement, the lawyer said she engaged in all kinds of various sexual misconduct. The graphic details are every sex act that you can imagine. I mean, goddamn, they were doing pornos in this health facility. That's what it sounded like to me. This must have been Smut Magazine 101. I wonder what kind of backdoor DVDs they got out there. This must be on Torrent, the Torrent web. It's got to be on, uh, man, I'm telling you, I, 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 I don't know. Maybe on the Torrent web, might be on the dark web. They're probably using Bitcoins for these shows. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I, I I just I just you know I'm just I, in my mind I'm just wondering. He, she like, hey, I want you to talk to me dirty. He probably said, I want to stick my finger in your butt, hey, bust a nut, and I hit, hit it from the back. She probably say, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh man, hey, she wanted that man dingo dick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she did. So the roots, where it came from, and she must have. But anyway, yeah, you know, 
you know, we 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 always uh, we always see uh, you know you know the Me Too movement just straight. Even though Rose McGuire lately been been bugging out in her shows and whatnot, you know, we ain't gonna touch on that. Rose McGuire or whatever her name is. But uh, you know, this is this is another aspect of it. We got a, a very professional, uh, look like she's well off, well uh, careered uh, white female. And you know, we don't we don't play the race car here at all. We just going with the facts here. You got a 21 year old uh, male who was in, you know, he was arrested for trying to assault or assaulting a police officer, one of the two. Now he goes there, and now you know, she, I guess she's there to evaluate his psyche to bring it back on track on society. And I guess she, she you know. To me, this ain't the first time she did it. This ain't the first time down the line. So she just sized him up on day one and said, hmm, this is me right here. Everybody else is going to have to wait in line. Because what, what came out? What came out about the facility? The other psychiatrist knew about it? The director knew about it? So to me, this ain't the first time she did it. This ain't the first time the facility did it. But what's funny is, at the end of the story, B. Fisher said, there's no, there's no charges pressed. Oh, we're just going to let it go. I bet you she got a severance package. I bet she got overtime served. I bet she got that night fast bonus. Ain't that how it works in this system? Ain't that how it works in this society? The top, the top of the food chain can get in trouble. You're going to move you out the way, but you're still going to be compensated. The bottom of the food chain, you do the same thing, you ain't going to get compensated. They're just going to move you out the way and put you in behind bars and, and drag your name through the mud. So this old raggedy rat bastard, you know, that's, I all know, learn, love to hear that word from me. This old raggedy rat bastard, Christy Learnhart. Mm. Rat bastard. He's an old rat bastard. Mr. Ben Hurt. You know, I could play devil advocate here, and I think a couple of my other brothers here while we talking might do the same. I I mean, it is it is it is easy to manipulate someone if they're weak-minded. Even if they're strong-minded, you can still we- manipulate them if you if you find the right pattern. You gotta see, she's a psychiatrist for how many years? She, she's older in her fifties, so she's been doing this. She done seen the game, seen all the concepts of how to get in someone's mind. She, he she probably led him down a path to where she can control all the aspects of this. He probably had ways to get out or probably wanted to say something. But how many men, honestly, how many men minus, you know, uh, the Me Too movement of Terry Crews is going to say, I've been touched. I've been molested. I was harassed. Dudes ain't going to say that, especially when it's a female. They really not doing that. That is, that is not a common occurrence. It's not common. It, I mean, it might be more common now, but it is, it is, not, it is not that. I mean, think about this when we was growing up, and you know, this is in all in all aspects is wrong, but it's the it's the, it's the double edged sword here. If you was a female and a, you wanted to sleep with a teacher, that's nasty. If you was a pedophile, that's a hundred percent. But if you was a dude, I mean, if his dudes wanted to smash a teacher, well, you know, teachers nowadays don't look like teachers who look look like well, we had them. So back then they were all rusty and dusty, but teachers nowadays in the thirties, then early twenties, you know, so they they get in a different ball game. They're only ten years. 15 years older than the students, so they, they ain't reach. But, you know, if a dude does it, we're not going to tell on ourselves. Even though it's the same parameter that if it was a female, it's still, it's still rape. It's still them still being a pedophile. It's still an inappropriate relationship. You know, it's just that double standard that we have with male and females. And that, that's our mindset in society. So I think that could be another reason why maybe he didn't come out. You know, he, he was, uh, he, he felt shame. He, he felt less of a man. You know, all right, I'm in jail. I'm supposed to be just tough, big dude. I mean, you know, in my experiences of, I say, you know, some of my background is um, in those in those facilities. Um, it's usually those individuals who, um, uh, it's usually the inmates, you know, that try to get females or staff to manipulate them because they they can get them to do things or coerce them to do things for them. And you know, once once they done ran them dry to the bone and it's nothing but but spine left. Then they toss you back to the wolves, and then they, they toss you. They turn you in for sense, you know. But it's, you know, it's just like not. Like I said the story here is crazy. It's 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 crazy to actually see it on the other side of the foot, and you know, it ex- exemplifies it a little bit more that it's a white female to a, a black young man. Like I said, the race and the color don't matter, but it's just now that's a female male, and that just puts it a little more in hindsight and prospect. And I like that. Damn, this you know things is like this is still going on. I uh, just want to do a side note. Uh, if you guys ever hear any babies in the background, anything like that, this is baby friendly and baby family going around. So that's just part of the sound effects. <laughs> so my little one is acting up right now. So uh, back to the story. Yeah, so Mr. Ben Hurt, um, you know, and then uh, another angle is maybe he, I don't know, maybe he liked that old 
Dusty Kuda. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he was like, you know what? I could be getting some man buns, but I, you know what? I'm going to ride this out for a little bit. I know it ain't right, but let me see what I can get out of this. I don't know. I don't know his own mindset. Like I said, she wasn't fired. We don't know what charges she would be brought up on. This dude is definitely going to get paid. His family's definitely going to get paid. Uh, the media tried reaching out to the family, the other two psychiatrists. I mean, the, the medical center, the other two psychiatrists, the director, and you know, nobody. Now nah, nobody want to talk. Nobody want to have a comment. But they know they're wrong. They know they're wrong. It's it's just a it's just it's just a crazy crazy situation. And she she manipulated this cat for three years. He only he was only supposed to do like a six, 12 month sentence, and he he kept him back for twelve years. She said she said man she. Mm. This this thing's so good, I can't let this go. Yeah, yeah. See what I got over here, man. Yeah. I mean, we just we getting hit. We just getting hit after hit. I, I can't let this go, man. Shoot, she he was he was swimming it, or well, maybe he was swimming it. I don't know. <laughs> but it's it's just crazy. Shit, you know what? Even even on even how I'm talking now, it's it's even keep it here. It's, it's uh, a little more comical because if it was a female, I mean, I'm, I guess a dude, I might have been a little more serious and a little more heated. And you know, I'm trying to keep a level playing field, but it's just just crazy situation. Chrissy Linehart, your rat bastard. You shouldn't have did this to Mr. Ben Hurt. You knew better, you're professional, and I know you you've been doing this. It looks like you have a history of doing this for some time. And uh I just wonder what really was going on over there. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna go on and um I'm gonna end it on that note. Men- Elgin Mental Health Facility. I just, if you're in Chicago and taking your people there, be careful because they are doing some things they should not be doing. Hey, I got one thing to add. All you dusty old females out there that are taking advantage of us young guys, they gonna get you. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> they all come. They all come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go on. Um, Suave said his piece. And uh, I'm going to go on and turn it over to uh, the next brother. Whoever want to take the mic, all you. Uh, I'll, let me take the mic because uh, my, my son, once he wakes up, it's going to be terrible. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's going to be whining, you know, all kinds of stuff. So uh, the, my, well, nah, my take I on the situation. I put a disclaimer for the baby, so don't worry about it. Yeah, don't yeah, I, I got you, man. My take on it is I, I agree with Suave. A lot of times when you have poor, disenfranchised, people who are ignorant to their options. You have other people who are better educated who take advantage of that. And obviously, to me, they're no different than predators locked up in the system. Basically, they just haven't been caught yet, a lot of them. And a lot of times with fe- uh, females in general, some some of y'all complain that there's a double standard. There's a double standard. But also, you can reverse that when the rare female who is predatory, predatory female, does things such as this, um, a lot of times they get the slap on the wrist. You know, as a male, man, we can't even, don't let a female just accuse us, accuse us of it. Man, listen, we getting sent. <laughs> they ain't, dude, I'm a, I'll, t- I'll tell you, man, I had a situation where I was living with a female. I had, me and her got an argument. She just, she was really combative. So I locked her out the house. And, uh, <laughs> she, <laughs> she remembers this. <laughs> um, she, uh, I locked her at the house. Somehow the police called. I don't know if she called the police or, or if uh, security heard the commotion. They called the police. But as soon as the police got here, number one is a male and a female. Number two, they play. They were playing a good cop, bad cop. Number three, they're both trying to get us to almost like tell lies on each other in order to get us jammed up. You know, even though she did what she did, you know, I never told told the police, you know, what she did because I, I knew as a as a man, I still want her to have an opportunity to succeed in life, even though our relationship was successful. You know what I mean? And lucky she had the same thought because <laughs> they were really trying to get us. But anyhow, back to the story at hand. Double standard definitely extends to the rare predatory female. A lot of times. Actually, most of the time, y'all get a slap on the wrist when it comes to very serious crimes that you commit when you're dealing, you know, when dealing with uh, males. So I'm glad she's up out of there. But I mean, Lord knows how much she damaged this young man's relationships going going further because, you know, (laughs) already as a as a minority, it's hard for us to trust due to uh, past situations. Now, 
when you have people in, in positions of trust that you supposedly, you know, supposedly supposed to rely on that control your uh, your destiny and they take advantage of you is even more damaging. So hopefully that young man going forward, hopefully he he he's uh, he'll be in a he's in a better mind state. And I hope they at least pursue some type of civil litigation so this young man can actually get some financial compensation in order to in order to improve his 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 lifestyle you know what i mean have we even heard if if they're planning on even pursuing like you know damages like punitive damages yeah i think his uh they have an attorney so if they got an attorney i'm thinking they're trying to pursue so yeah i know right (laughs) Attorneys don't, most returns don't work for free. So, well, hopefully they do. And hopefully the attorney is on their side and not just chasing the money. You know what I mean? Because we got a lot of attorneys out there who just chase the money. They, they care less about their clients and what their clients get. They just want their 33rd and the third. Hopefully, hopefully they start putting the, the microscope on predatory females out here too. You know what I mean? I want to see that because, I mean, we all know what's going on, you know, out in the current climate. So I'm hoping all predatory, whether it be male or female, or get or, 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 or up, get up out of here. <laughs> Cause we definitely don't, <laughs> we don't have any, um, there's no time and place for individuals like that. Regardless, man. Uh, on to the next brother with their opinions. <laughs> on the Thank situation. You, <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> Thank you, brother. Yeah, no, definitely agree with you. Uh, Mr. Suave, definitely agree with you. And uh, to be physicist, thank you for the introduction and the synopsis to the story. The big problem here is this. I do believe, without a shadow of a doubt, just like everyone here has said, she has done this before. But here's the thing. She is armed with a psychological college degree. In other words, I, put, I, I would even dare say, and this is, again, my humble opinion, she ain't going to just jump everybody. Notice that it said it took at least maybe four months for her before she made her first sexual advance. She's mentally profiling the guy to the best point to say, you know what? Will this guy go for this? Will this kid go for it? It's a very precarious situation because the brother, he obviously um, was involved with something where a law enforcement person was harmed. And he knows I better play ball in every kind of conceivable way because maybe I can come out of this. Maybe I can get some kind of employment. Maybe I can get some kind of a sympathy. I believe this woman, she mentally profiled him. And she came to the conclusion and said, you know what? Not only can I get what it is that I want from him, but I can extend this for my own personal pleasure. So this is not something that you're just walking into and it's like, hey, you know, you look very nice. I look very nice. It's not a situation where they're going to say, well, you're a nice looking person. I'm a nice looking person. Hey, you know. Um, you know, Raheem, we're, we're solving a problem here. And hey, wouldn't this just be great to have some sex? No. I believe without a shadow of a doubt, she profiled him. She profiled him. Just I think like, she's just, more like, pull your, let me see your dick. <laughs> yes, no, yes. Hey, overlook comes into consideration. Yes. Yes. We, we, I'm going to tell you, the, you know, the comedy is the truth. The comedy real, is the truth. She, she profiled him. And she she told this young man, hey, look, you really better play ball with me. I can make your, you know, she may have said, allegedly, I don't know because I wasn't there. But she may have said, you know what? You're supposed to be here six months. It'll look better if you stay here longer under my care to really rehabilitate you and really get you set straight. You never know what, the, what it is that they feed to these people because, sadly, poor people, and, and this goes for all races of people, but in particularly we don't know the system. We don't know the legal lease terms. We don't know the jargon. We don't know. So when we find ourselves in these situa- situations, we have to then depend on an alleged expert. The whole place is just obviously crawling with corruption. You have two of her colleagues and the director backing this up. And it's like, you know, just just like you were saying, you know, you know, like Mr. Suave was saying, were they taking photos with, with, his, with his cameras? Well, I mean, my goodness, I mean, if if you got your staff going off the floor with somebody who is a patient, you got to account for that time. Somebody's got to be a lookout. Somebody's got to, you know, this is crazy. And then the question comes up with the two other psychologists as well as the director. 
were they involved with other or any of the patients with the men and women there? Or is this an all male facility? We don't know. Well, I don't know yet. But usually when they bring in these lawyers and obviously the female psychologist, she's not going to be facing any charges. These things will usually get settled out of court, unfortunately. And what they're going to use, they're going to say, hey, man, you know, we'll give these guys some money, but it'll be a low, bald figure. But it's probably going to be more money than that family would ever have seen in their lives. And, and you know, when you're poor, you're going to sadly, unfortunately, take it. And um, it's, 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 it's really, really, really bad. And, um, you know, it just, when, when you have something like this, this is when you know, again, and I know it's very hard, but you're going to need community. People are going to have to learn to walk, talk, learn, and deal with each other. I'm not saying it's the mother's fault, but the mother should know her son very well or well enough to grill and drill him in some questions and say, hey, Sonny, how are they treating you here? Is anything going wrong? Is someone touching you in your no-no spot? Any, anything that you need to do to communicate these things. And as people, we really got to back each other up. And it's just not only a black or a white thing or an Asian thing or, or a Hispanic or a Latino, whatever you want to say it, we've got to be our own brother's keeper. We, we, we need people that know what's going on. Clearly nobody in the community, from what we're seeing in this story, Nobody from the community knew who that young man was, was probably even working in that facility. It's a bunch of strangers, a bunch of people there that are not looking out for the community, are not looking out for the patients. And this predatory psychologist was able to do what it was that she was able to do. And I'm not even going to give those other two guys a pass, as well as the director. He's the director. He's supposed to be the example to be set. So who knows what he was doing there? As people, man, we, we have to do something. We have to set things up. And we're going to be covering that story that we have just seen with Mr. Nasir. Um, again, I'm, I'm very, I, I, I'm completely baffled and mystified how they can get these girls, take them to these gymnastic camps, and it, do what it is that they do. And then these girls, when they tell their parents, either the parents are not believing them, or are they turning a blind eye? Well, I want to kind of interject there because uh, in some of the reports, Nasser was doing some of that abuse in front of the parents. So remember that he has this medical degree. And in this case, she's a psychiatrist. So she's also, you know, she's an MD. So what's happening is that this medical degree is being used as a shield. Now, Let's put this in perspective because med- the difference, a big difference between a doctor and a regular person is the stuff that a doctor does to you. If you would just do that on the street to a regular person, that'd be considered assault. So what's happening, you know, you take that oath to be a, to be a doctor, you know, it's a, it's a serious oath. And we can see why, because, you know, a doctor could be in the room and doing some type of treatment that's unnecessary, but it's a legitimate treatment and say, hey, we need this treatment and do it right in front of the parents. Like what was going with uh, Dr. Nassar, or Nasir, whatever, however yes. it's pronounced. And so there, there was a, a clear violation of uh, trust there. So it, 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 it gets really hard. It gets really complicated. I'm a, th- a bee physicist. Thank you for that insight. But I agreed with that father in the court. I wish he was able to have been there when his daughter, you know, at one of those training camps or wherever, how how this man was able to get at her. And I wish he was able to lay paws on him then. Put the paws on him. (laughs) Yeah. Well, we're we're gonna, of course, we're gonna, let's not get too far. No condoning violence here. I I mean, let's not get too far off track. I mean, that's. We're going to get to that story, yeah. and we're going to save the comments for that story as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, with that, the Nasir story, um, he was doing what was known as a digital, it was like did a digital uh, penetration, and which means he was using, he's basically placed, he's placing his fingers in, in uh, these females, young females' private areas. So mm. I'm pretty sure it was along, along the lines of like, you know, you know how you go to a doctor and you get a medical checkup? Yes. You know what I mean? 
Also, as an older male, once you reach your 40s or some 50s, they do uh, the your colon check. So you know what they do with their thumb, right? <laughs> or whatever finger. <laughs> Thing in the booty. Yes, yes. So, prosthetic exam, yes, yes. Yeah, prosthetic exam. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so, it's gonna be done, bro. So basically, or uh, you remember being a child, you know, when a doctor would take your temperature, they would stick a thermometer up your butt. Now, right. I'm I. I'm pretty sure he was you basically doing medical checkups under the guys as if he was uh, doing medical checkups on these females, almost like probably like a gynecologist. These parents didn't know any better, you know? Right. Lord knows they probably didn't know what kind of, uh, what was his specialty. You know what I'm saying? All they knew that was this guy was the head medical doctor um, at that gymnastics, Olympic gymnastics camp. And where are we now? So, you had to go to this camp if you wanted to get to the Olympics or wanted to be a world-renowned um, gymnastics. I don't know if they call them gymnasts or performers. I don't know. Um, oh, gymnasts. But, You're right. Okay. Just so our gymnast, you know, being a world-renowned uh, gymnast, sir. Gymnast. Uh, top flight gymnast. So that sucks. I hate when people use their position. And that happens a lot. A lot more than we know. I mean, people in positions of power will abuse their power. It's guaranteed, man. You get so used to people telling you yes, regardless of what you do, you get to the point where you get drunk off your power. And you're like, man, they let me get away with this, so I'm going to do this. Oh, they let me get with, get away with this? It's basically, you know, yeah. they they keep taking chances, getting bigger and bolder with their actions. You know what I mean? Until somebody says, hey, you can't do that. They still might not stop. <laughs> Look at Fox News, man. Roger Ailes and um, what's that other guy's name? It used to be an inside inside edition. Yeah, O'Reilly. <laughs> yeah, man. Hmm. Bill O'Reilly. Basically, he was the media darling, man. As soon as they they had multiple allegations against him, and they found out that they actually paid out to settle with these females, oh, he was out of there. <laughs> <laughs> they getting everybody out of there. <laughs> you know? But I just don't want to see these guys to be protected. It's like this yes. so-called psychologist. If she's not going to have any criminal charges brought up against her and they give her a severance package, I mean, she can go to another facility and continue her evil work. Yeah, basically. And, someone like, and I'll just say she resigned or something. Right. Yeah. And there'll be no questions asked because you're part of the professionals. And what's so sad is that when she goes, if she goes to another facility and they're just as corrupt... They're going to love her because it's going to be like, you're going to play ball with us because you got a shaky pass right here. So you're going to turn a blind eye all the time. (laughs) (laughs) That's called assimilating to the culture, man. You know? Yes. Well, hey. Oh, man. (laughs) Really bad. People don't understand, like, this stuff goes on a lot, man. People are really sick out in this world. Like, I I just wish um, this world wasn't so PC and people weren't so sensitive because... I mean, more than ever now, with the advent of social media and just 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 the portability of video cameras and recording devices, a lot of stuff that was happening is now being put out in front street. People don't understand this has been happening for years, like for years. Yes. It's just now we have cameras and people are able to record instances of, yeah. of of excessive force. This has happened. This has been happening in the, in, the, in our communities forever, man. And it's it's crazy because this is this is no different. It's just another authority uh, figure um, abusing their power. You know what I mean? So hopefully, uh, with the advent of electronics, uh, recording devices, and visual uh, recording devices, we can start definitely start putting more of these individuals out on front of the street, calling them out on what they're doing. Because yeah. Lord knows, you know how long they've been doing this, man. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd also uh, like to add, I mean, we got a picture of this lady, plus middle age. She was, you know, 53 years of age. Fresh. And you, you, you see... <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks, so yeah, yeah, you, you see the, the <laughs> picture, but I guess my, my point is that uh, this lady is a plain Jane. She's put together, she probably doesn't have any priors or anything like that. So it's a, it's a difficult situation, like uh, 
Sensei Buddha was saying. This young man is a complete victim here. Look at the, you know, he's in trouble with the law. He's trying to get, trying to go along with the program, you know, get everything going. Now he pled insanity. Okay, he was evaluated if he was truly insane. Then, of course, yeah, this is you know, a tragedy. But I don't know if you are familiar with the movie One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Uh, Jack Nicholas, oh, or Nicholson. Yes. Mm. He basically pretends to have a mental illness so that he could avoid going to an actual uh, prison. Now, you know, you see this a lot in law dramas, or, you know, on TV, people, you know, Oh, you know, let me plead insanity so I don't get sent to a prison, but I get into a mental facility where it'll be a lot easier. Well, <laughs> got got news for you folks. <laughs> it could be just as brutal, if not worse, in prison, these facilities, as we can see here now. And I just, just kind of wanted to put that out there. Yeah. So uh, where we at now with it? Where we at now with the rest of the story? We got a picture of this old dirty rat bastard. Um, and of course, you know, the media is going to spin it when they do put it out there, how they did, they're going to put a nice, educated, fashionable picture of the young lady. Oh, uh, yeah. I was about to say that, man. Gonna Always. Picture, gonna put a picture of him in his uh, convict Holding holder. guns with a hoodie on. I <laughs> 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 have a picture of her snorting some white powder in the back. I, mean, I know they do. They're just not going to use those. I'm pretty sure they have a picture of her on a wine glass out. I sure she do, but they, they're not going to use her. I bet you she have you know, a picture on uh, on Tinder or POF, but they ain't going to use those. They're going to use no. the, the picture from the from the uh, institution behind her medical, <laughs> medical degree. From a party when they were having fun. <laughs> uh-huh. Christmas that's party. Just, it's just a spin, that's, that's just how it is. It's, it's just how it is. And, and leading up to that, also, um, as young men and women, we need to do better for ourselves, especially on social media. Um, we need to start, man, what's the term for that, man? We need to basically start moderating what we put out there on social media. You, mean you know police, what I mean? Uh, police ourselves. Yes, because you know what? what happens is, you know, when something negative happens, this is what happened. They immediately go to social media and they start picking out all mm. the negative images. We need to start monitoring social media, period. Man. And if you read the disclaimers, personal, if you read the disclaimers yeah. on Instagram and Facebook, once you put that stuff out there, they are proprietors to use that also. Yeah, Remember that. definitely. They don't know that. that. They can yep. use your photos. Once you put it out there, they have rights to that. Yep. They make money off that. They can disseminate that on any type of media and use it as an advertisement. So don't be surprised when you see your photo <laughs> on a commercial for a social media product. Okay? <laughs> so watch what you put out there. <laughs> for real, man. <clears throat> Definitely. We're not, we're not going to go much, too much into that. That's a whole nother story. That's a whole that's nother. A whole, that's, a whole, that's a whole nother. That's a whole nother podcast we could do. <laughs> so, uh, I think so you uh, guys out there, yeah. I think my my closing notes here is just uh, young, oh, young Mister Hurt. You know, just uh, mind your p's and q's next time. And, and like uh, beat physicist said, if you really was playing uh, one flow over the cuckoo's nest, the cuckoo's nest, you got got. And if he wasn't, he got got. So either way, he ended up got mm. got. So hopefully, you know, I'm, I'm, I know he's going to get restitution for it. I hope some people do get charges for it. Hope this old lady, Rat Bass, and I'm not even going to mention her name again, gets what she deserves. I hope the director get what he deserves and all the the, uh, the people who accomplices to the cover-up get what they deserve. And I hope this institution gets shut down or sold out. And hope them all them people in there start doing cases. I'm pretty sure if they do, we're going to find a whole lot more stories coming from the England Medical Health Center, whatever it was called. You know, you know, you know what? Let me, let me, let me. What's, what's the name of the institution? What's the name of the institution? England, England Medical. You mean the New England Medical, Medical Journal? There we go. Yeah, that that place right there. I'm pretty sure we might have a whole more couple cases from from Backpage, from the Torrent Web, from Bitcoin usage. I'm pretty sure we're gonna find some more stuff about them. That's all Swabby got to say. Uh, any more closing notes, fellas? Before we close it out. Um, oh, I'm. Oh, oh, go ahead. I don't want to throw in the well, I'm good. I, you know, I mean, everything has been said here. It was very, very uh, well put, very succinct and to the point. 
And, um, you know, this is something that um, obviously we, you know, again, you, you, we're going to need advocacy groups from the community to monitor these people to see what's going on. But, you know, if if people are going to be easily to be, you know, to be corruptible, then uh, then it's, it's all going to be for naught. But it's very sad because um, one of the biggest things we've all been taught is to get that college degree. To have an education is very, very highly sought after. And now they're using this degree to harm people and to use it as a shield to say, hey, we're the professional class with this. You can't touch us. We can get, you know, sent somewhere else and continue this dirty work when these people need to be clearly in jail. And uh, that's uh, my thought on it. Okay. Tut, you got a thought? Tut, you got a closing or you good? My only thing in closing is hopefully uh, once he receives his money, that he utilizes that uh, in order to educate himself, use it to, to further higher education. You know what I mean? I like that. That's going I on. hope so, man. Ho oh, do something do something positive with it. Something that, you know, you can utilize in the future, man. Whether it be buying a home or uh, going to an institution of higher learning, man. I think a lot That's of people of need, to, need to do something in order to have some sort of lasting... <laughs> <laughs> tangible uh, asset, whether it be physical or mental. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. And I, I think just to touch on what you said, that might go part of, uh, I don't know if you guys ever read The, the Tower of Wu by the RZA, where he learned a lot of his philosophy from was The, the Twelve Jewels, which is, you know, you know, it's, you know, you don't have to take it hand in hand. It's, you know, it is from the 120s, kind of like some basic rules for the nation of Islam. You know, I'm not... Well, are you speaking that. five percent of it? <laughs> No, 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 no. Just listen, just, just, no, just listen, good. just listen. Good. You know, you know, you just, just, you know, just like the, you know, just that, you know, just has some good points where he said the first, the first jewel is knowledge. And that doesn't have to, you don't have to just apply that to what the, the Islam was following. You can apply that to yourself. The one that's first is knowledge itself. So if he had knowledge itself, like you said, he used that money to get knowledge itself, then he can educate people around him for something like this not to happen. If he's smart, He'll, he'll try to become an advocate and start doing tours and making money off this also. So if he has knowledge itself, he'll really enhance himself. Be a physicist, close us out. <laughs> all right. I think we've done all we could do here. Again, folks, the name of the show is Hindsight. You can catch us at hindsight.com. That's H-Y-N-D-E-S-I-T-E.com. Or on Twitter, mostly Instagram. Trying to get on Facebook, Google Play, get the podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, you know, tune in to us, leave comments, troll us. If subscribe. You yeah, subscribe. Everything. We've got demonstrations on the YouTube channel. So, yeah, we, we, we'll be happy to hear from you. All right. Anyway, take care. Peace. Peace. Signing out.